Hey there, welcome back to another video. Dustin here. Stripe and Gravity Forms make a great team if you run e-commerce stores, subscription services, donation sites, or anything else that needs to collect online payments. By integrating Stripe with Gravity Forms, you have access to many powerful and useful payment options. For instance, the Gravity Forms Stripe add-on supports a wide array of payment methods and is a great choice if you need to accept one-time or automatic recurring payments on your WordPress website. Beyond credit and debit cards, you can accept Google Pay and Apple Pay, ACH debit, and many other local payment methods. Just visit your Stripe dashboard to easily configure the payment methods you want to accept. Within your WordPress dashboard, you can view important payment details, manage subscriptions, and process refunds for one-time payments. You also have the ability to authorize and capture a payment, letting you authorize a user's card on form submission, but wait to process the actual payment until a later time. Additionally, you can view aggregate sales reports to see total revenue and subscription data for your form. When it comes to subscriptions, you can add one-time setup fees and offer free trial periods if needed. And with the Gravity Form Stripe add-on, you can set up custom schedules for accepting payments. You can also streamline the checkout process by using Stripe Link, Stripe's own accelerated checkout feature. Stripe Link lets your customers save their payment information and have it autofill on future transactions. Also, with the Stripe Customer Portal, you can give subscribers the option to easily manage their subscriptions. You can even let users see their subscription status and offer a link to the portal via a simple shortcode. And if you need additional functionality within your Stripe dashboard, you can install the Gravity Forms app from the Stripe app marketplace to view form entry data for all your transactions. Now that you know what all you can do with Gravity Forms and Stripe, let's take a look at how to set the add-on up. To get started, head to the Gravity Forms add-ons page and install and activate the Stripe add-on. Next, you'll want to head to the Gravity Forms settings page and select Stripe. From there, you can use the Connect with Stripe button to easily log into your Stripe account and sync it with Gravity Forms. In order to use Gravity Forms with Stripe, you'll need to have webhooks enabled. You can click View Instructions and follow the on-screen instructions to set up your webhook. Once you've got it set up, check the box below the webhooks enabled prompt. You'll next want to head back to your Stripe dashboard and click on the webhook you just created. Under Signing Secret, click Reveal to access your API key and paste it in the Live Signing Secret field within your WordPress dashboard. Next, select your payment collection method. I'm going to use the Stripe field for this video, but you can read more about each method on our docs site, linked below. Save your settings, then head to the form editor for the payment form with which you'd like to use with Stripe. Add the Stripe field to your form and then open the field settings. From here, you can enable additional payment methods such as Google Pay and Apple Pay, which can be configured within your Stripe dashboard. Be sure to select the Gravity Forms for Rocket Genius configuration within your Stripe dashboard, then simply enable the payment options you'd like to use. You can also configure the email address field that will be used with Stripe Link. Stripe Link lets customers save their payment information so it can be used again on any site that uses Stripe Link, which is a handy convenience option. Click Save, then head to the Stripe settings for your form to configure your feed, which is simply the data that is sent from Gravity Forms to Stripe. Within the feed settings, be sure to give the feed an appropriate name, as well as set the transaction type. You'll also want to map the Payment Amount field to the appropriate form field, along with mapping the appropriate billing information and customer information fields with their corresponding form fields. If needed, you can also configure metadata to be sent to Stripe, receipt options, and conditional logic for this feed. And if you have multiple Stripe accounts, you can specify which account you want this feed connected to. Finally, embed and publish your form on a page on your site and you'll be all set to start collecting payments with Stripe and Gravity Forms. That'll do it for this video. Thanks as always for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. See you next time.